Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know it's been a minute since I last uploaded video. It's probably been like two, three weeks or something. Obviously, I was on holiday and I took a bit of a break, but I'm back. And now this video is going to be a mixture between a devlog and a bit of an update as to what's going to happen with my channel. Now, this may annoy a few people and it may make some other people very happy. But essentially, I'm moving into a university dorm in two weeks time. So I'm going to be going to university. And I basically I want to respect other people's privacy and not you know uh, record videos all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be focusing on my RPG game and basically uh, grinding a bunch of footage for devlogs. So I'm going to prioritize devlogs on my channel from now on, and my uploads won't be as consistent. And I'm going to primarily be focusing on the RPG game now. In the devlogs that doesn't say I won't be mixing up like tutorials and stuff like that inside the devlogs uh, but essentially I'm gonna be focusing on the RPG game from now on with maybe uh, some a few other random videos every now and then but that's pretty much it as for the channel update as for the video we're gonna go ahead and kind of explain uh, the few things that I've kind of caught up on and what I've been doing on the RPG game all right, so as you can see, guys, we're back on the uh, the RPG grind. I know a lot of people are kind of uh, very eager for these videos and stuff like that, as I don't tend to upload them too often. Um, but essentially, this is going to be kind of a catch up as to what I've done so far. Uh, we're getting into the scripting part now. So we're going to be scripting UI and getting some basic functionalities of the game going. We're currently doing the character selection screen at the moment and uh, scripting some UI. But essentially, this is the brand new character selection screen. And the idea is if I show off the UI, which I haven't really shown off too much uh, so far. So if I go to character slots here, enable this, as you can see, you'll be able to create a character. And then when you create a character, uh, his appearance will come up back here. It will replace one of these dummies. And then you can choose to delete or play. And obviously, you'd have your character creation scene like over here. As far as to what's new, this is pretty much it. I've been making some minor adjustments here and there. But, um, you know, I like to add some detail onto my assets. As you can see, I hand texture all my assets, add a little bit of detail so they're not just, you know, default materials. We have a little bit of a nicer look to them. Obviously, the edges are different colors all that kind of stuff just to add that extra little detail and make the game more unique now apart from this kind of character selection screen this is the most brand new part i'm going to go ahead and hide the ui as uh, codes is working on the ui scaling at the moment but essentially this is the newest area and then we have obviously i need to do the human race uh, scenery which shouldn't take too long i just need to come up with a bit of a uh, environment design and I can just crack onto it. And then obviously we have the Elven area, as you have seen before, and the Orc area. I don't want to go back and explain too much of the stuff, but this devlog is going to be pretty pretty short, really. But essentially the idea is that I'm going to basically create some basic functionalities for alpha release and then kind of see how the game goes. Obviously, as the game progresses, we'll add a lot more detail onto the scenes, onto the scripts, all that kind of stuff to develop with the community. As this is somewhat of a rewind uh, as to what I've done previously, uh, it wouldn't hurt to revisit kind of Shipwreck Island, which if you don't already know, after you create your character, you kind of play a cutscene where a ship, you're kind of in a shipwreck, you're you on a ship and you find a storm and you kind of shipwreck on this island in which you are taught how to play the game. There'll be a little NPC here that kind of teaches you uh, how to, you know, do all the basics, combat, fish, hunt, all that kind of stuff. And this is basically the Shipwreck Island. There's some minor things that I've changed, really. But 99% of the things you've already seen in previous devlogs, which I already have a full playlist uh, called Game Development, which you can see, which has the four previous devlogs. But this is going to be like a fresh restart um, onto all the devlogs. And I'm going to be kind of rewinding as to what I've done so far. And then we can kind of progress from here. That's kind of like a fresh start in a sense but as you can see the development takes a little bit longer for me as i do tend to texture my assets i don't really want to just you know shove a bunch of smooth plastic assets and then call it a day because that because that gets quite boring um as you can see outlines on here as mentioned before 
uh, just to get a small kind of stylized look to the assets now as well as shipwreck isle i do have the playground which kind of shows off all the assets so far in the game um, in which as you can see there's a decent chunk of assets a uh, decent uh, amount of variety but not too much obviously i had a huge mare with kind of working out what kind of leaves i want to use but i've kind of decided on sticking with this kind of kind of fluffy uh, stylized look to them and obviously i'm going to need to create different like logs and stuff like that to put these on but these this is pretty much all the assets in the game currently um that i've kind of spread around throughout the maps obviously this is going to progress a huge amount um i'm going to hit a phase where i'm just going to create a bunch of different types of assets and then shove them all in the game at once so basically essentially in alpha we'll have a certain amount of assets and then as the game progresses i'll let's say create smaller assets in which i can decorate the old scenes more so basically non-essential kind of small assets will come later on as they aren't too important right now but as well as the playground we have the kind of the main map the first map which i haven't touched at all really as i've been focusing on the uh, character creation and all that kind of stuff the main menus basically which uh, uh, took quite some time and i still need to do a few more scenes but essentially you've seen this all before it's an island with a dragon skull in the mountain and then essentially this is going to be probably a fishing village in which you kind of start out and you get quests all that kind of stuff and basically level up and then you'll have different kind of exit points to go to different areas now i know this is kind of somewhat of a boring video and you've probably seen most of these things but I did kind of need to make this video. Obviously, this is the, probably the most uh, newest scene that you've probably never seen before. We have a bunch of uh, background mountains, all that kind of jazz, in which your camera angle will probably be around here, and then you'd create your character. But essentially, that's pretty much it. Um, this video is kind of like a, a sum up of what I've done so far, and from now on, it's going to be kind of like a, a fresh start. Obviously, I'm keeping everything that I've done so far, but I'm going to be making a bunch more stuff and kind of focusing on the progress of the RPG game and using my channel to kind of grow this RPG game and my channel kind of uh, for people that, you know, like to watch kind of development and kind of get a behind the scenes of what developers do as you don't actually get to see that in, you know, big developers and stuff like that. They never do that. But other than that, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll probably see you in the next devlog. Peace.